Cranberries, look at them all popping off the bush. And the bush stays. Best kind of bush is the one that keeps on giving. Oh, look at this bush. Huh, it's a blackberry bush. Oh, I've never seen those before. I just wanted to touch it because it looked like it should be touched. And blackberries popped out. Are you talking to me? I said, are you talking to me, foul, twisted, evil, pretzel of the night? Oh, really? Well, take this, and that, and that, and that. Oh, uh-oh. Uh Did I do that? Oh, gosh. Yeah, uh, I scratched it. Um, <clears throat> don't tell Leah, okay? <laughs> she gave me this as a present. She sculpted it for me. I think it's a giant pretzel, but I don't know. But anyway, I just scratched it, and now I feel terrible. And, oh, man. Mom always said, never play with your dagger in the house. But look what I just did. Anyway, okay. Well, she, what? she didn't specify. She didn't say don't play with your crystal dagger, right? Okay, see, Mom, you gotta be more specific. Anyway, welcome back. It's Sunday the 7th, Stardew Valley here, Punchwood, the farmer, and it's gonna be cloudy with gusts of wind throughout the day tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Weatherman. And then the spirits are gonna be very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Oh, I like that. It's about time. Finally, they're happy. And what do we have here? Uh, Queen of Sauce's new recipe. Tortillas! <laughs> How many of you are gnawing on a microwave convenience burrito while watching this program? Shame on you. You might as well wrap your beans in an old wash rag. Now listen up. Once you've tried my fresh rustic corn tortillas, you'll never go back. Oh, I love tortillas. I love tortillas, except I don't have a kitchen to make them. Uh, oh boy. Uh, yeah, better hide that little wood chip there. Just kick it over here in the corner. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. All right, guys, so, uh, well, let's go let the chickens out first. First thing we should do is let the chickens out because they're happiest eating outside. Dilly and Dally. Come on out, Dilly Dally. Come on out. There we go. There's Dally and there's Dilly. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling today? Dally, you look fine. Dilly, you look fine, too. Still no hearts yet, though. Dang it. All right, well, fine. I'll take their eggs while they're not looking. And we'll go throw one in the mayo. Mayonnaise machine, which is up here. All right, guys, it is now 11 a.m. and the morning chores are complete. We got another jar of mayonnaise. How lovely. Awesome. Let's throw another uh, egg in there. We've got one brown egg. We get eggs every day, a brown and a white egg. That's awesome. Now, we're running out of uh, inventory space here, so I think probably when we get back tonight, I'm going to chop down some trees and get at least 50 wood to make another chest. Because look at this, everything's almost chock full. I think I have one space left in this little feller. And then we're done. So I think now we're gonna head into town. We'll take care of that later. So goodbye, Dilly Dally, wherever you are. Oh, shh, that looks like Dilly's taking a little nap out there in the sun. Look at the leaves flying around, or pollen, or whatever the heck it is. That's pretty cool, huh? All right, everything's watered. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'll get that scrap on the way back. Got everything we need. Let's go. Got to get over to Clint's. I've got some things to give to him. It's now noon. Kill the music. Yeah, we have uh, three frozen geodes to give to him and see what's cooking there. And we have, um, we got two diamonds in the mines. We finally got to the diamond levels. I've got one here with me. I'm going to give it to Gunther so he can add it to his museum. It'll be a fine addition to his museum, if I must say. And we'll give all that stuff away or sell it. I don't know. All right, here we are at Pierre's. Let me just check the journal. I know we have a quest here for the wizard. He wants uh, an eel. M. Rasmodius wizard. But unfortunately, we can only catch eels during the rain, as far as I know. So we're not going to try for that. We'll miss out. Oh, well. Today's the 7th of Sunday, and we have Jody's birthday on the 11th. Other than that, we don't have anything to worry about. Whoa, here comes the wind right in my eyes. Let's get inside. Whew. Windy out there, Pierre. If I didn't have the shop to run, I would be outside right now. Yeah, but you got to make a living, man. I understand. The leaves look great, and the mushrooms are sprouting. Yes, indeed. Um, actually, come here. I, I've got some stuff for you, buddy. Hold on. Let's see what he'll buy. He'll buy the mayonnaise, at the very least, and the blueberry jelly, but the rest of the stuff he won't buy. Pleasure doing business with you, sir. I'll see you around. Bye-bye. All right, let's get out of here. And now... Oh, look, it's Alex. Oh, found an acorn in the trash. Oh, it's Evelyn. Hi, <laughs> hey, Evelyn. No, I wasn't going through your trash. My eyesight may be poor, but my nose hasn't failed me yet. You smell like garbage. <laughs> you got me, Evelyn. You got me. I can smell fallen leaves and mushrooms. It reminds me of the forest I used to play in as a girl. Oh, oh, yeah. No, I wasn't going through your trash. Right, I smell that too. Leaves uh, fall. Right, here, have some corn. Oh, my, it looks wonderful. This is very kind of you. 
Well, don't forget to cook it well so you don't have to chew too hard with that one tooth. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, she can't hear a word I'm saying anyway. Don't worry about it. Just, I realize I just totally insulted her, but she can't hear a word, so no biggie. All right, let's get... Oh, oh it's Leah. I was going to say, let's get over to Gunther's right now and get this, process, this stuff processed before four. Hi, Leah. You're heading over to the uh, river, aren't you? Hey, uh, let's stop and chat for a sec. There's a lot of good places to walk around here. Yes, indeed. Where are you headed? It feels good to stretch your legs. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I love your statue. Uh, it looks great. Not a scratch on it. <laughs> Thanks so much for it. Ooh, I hope she doesn't come over and see that scratch. Otherwise, I'm a dead man. Hey, Clint. How's it going today? Don't you have work to do? Yeah, but I just want to bother you first. I'm coming around, okay? <laughs> going around this side and give you some biz. <laughs> Process my geos, my young man. Bang! Cool. Come on, spirits. Ooh. Ooh. Marble. I don't know if I've seen that before. And rocks. Really? Really, Clint? That's the best you can do? All right. Have a good day. Bye. Oh, wind's blowing hard right now. I love that, how the leaves go a little faster. You can hear it rustling, the, the wind rustling through the leaves. Well, hello, my southern gentleman, Gunther. How are you? Let's donate to the museum. Oh, man, this is going to hurt, but... Oh, wow, look at this thing. It's a whole diamond. Oh, put over here by the pile of mud. Oh, we got a new reward. I better get a reward for a diamond. Look at the size of that thing. It's a monster. What you got? Hand it over. Come on, come on. It's a large futon bear. It's furniture. It can be placed inside your house. Wow! <laughs> I love it! Wow! Man, when you said large, it is large. I can't even test it out. All right, it can only go in my house. Yeah, who would who else would ever want one of these things in like their house or museum? Yeah, I get it, I get it. Well, you have a teddy bear over here, man. Stop laughing. Fine. Large futon bear. <laughs> futons? Do they still make futons? Is that still a thing? I know they were pretty hot in like the '90s. Hey, Leah, check out my futon. Hmm? Come on over and sit on it sometime. She's busy. All right, we'll see you later. Oh, you know what I want to go, guys? I gotta go down to um, down to the ocean. I wanna catch a sardine. If I catch a sardine, we can finish the ocean collection in the um, in the community center. Oh wow! Look at all the all the single young men out today. Hey guys, we should have a bachelor party. Hey, Dr. Harvey, what do you think of that? Hmm, I'm struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience. Well, you gotta have patience. If you don't have patience, and you're always rushing around, busy. Oh wait, oh patience, like people. All right. I guess I should try to get patience from the neighboring towns. Oh, don't bring those people over here. Oh, gosh, no. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Whatever you do, don't do that. Hey, Elliot, get closer to the edge. I have to remember to water my plants today and not with seawater this time. Haha, <laughs> funny joke. Knee slapper. All right, down to the ocean, but hold it up. See what means. Boop. Gotcha. Ooh, glass shards. What do they do? Gunther can tell me more about this. Oh, that dang Gunther. All right. Woo, wind's blowing hard here. It's not going to stop me from catching a couple of sardines. Let's go down here and catch some sardines. My favorite spot, right here on the beach. Got a hit. Let's see if this is a sardine. Sardines should be very easy to catch. Any time during the... That, there it is. Seven inch sardine, new world record. That's it. That's all I need, I think. Hold on. Ocean fish bundle. Yeah, sardine. We can finish it. We can go. Just one, just one fish. But hold on. I think I saw Willie over here. Oh, Willie, you're fishing. How's it going, buddy? If you purchase a high quality fishing rod, you'll be able to attach bait and tackle to the line. Bait causes fish to bite faster. Tackle can make your job a lot easier when reeling fish in. Do I look like a rookie to you? Let me show you how it's done, old man. Is a fishing tourney. First one to catch fish wins. On three, two, one, go. Never mind that. Never mind that. Okay, now I'm ready. That was just practice. Oh, it's Clint and Leah. Clint and Leah? What the? Just pretend I'm not noticing. Really? Oh, I thought Cleo got, uh, I thought you guys were together. I thought Clint was bringing you to. Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I just backstabbed him. <laughs> Actually, I have an idea. First, let's go over to the saloon. Everybody's going to be hanging out here. 
Alright, I gotta give away some corn. Who wants some corn? Fresh corn from the Punchwood Farm. Thank you. Sure thing, Marty. Pam, have some fresh corn. You did good with this one, kid. Thanks. Anytime, Pam. Hey, Gus, you can cook this up in some something. Oh, goodness. Are you sure? I am sure. All right. I guess I'm going to go. Uh, I've got all these gemstones I like to give away to some of the ladies, but none of the ladies are here. All right. Whatever. Let's go through some garbage. Uh, I'll run up to the community center and drop off the sardine. Finish that ocean bundle. Ocean fish bundle. Sardine coming up. It's a silver star belly. Oh, there goes a the little guy in the balloon. Hello. Uh, what do we got? Rewards. What the? It's a warp totem. Beach. Warp directly to the beach? Oh, consumed on you, so you get five of them? Hey! That's just weird. I don't like the consumables like that. Give me something else. Better. Err, okay. Well, I guess if we have to get to the beach really fast, that'll come in handy. Five times. Oh, oh, it's Abigail. Hi, Abigail. Hmm, what should I do tonight? I was thinking about dyeing my hair again. What do you think? Oh, gosh. Oh, no. No, don't ask me these kinds of questions. Because they're all going to be wrong. Uh, I already know how this goes. Dye it black. Why not blonde? How about bubblegum pink? I like your hair just the way... It, uh, yeah, you know what? This, this is the best way to do it. I like it just the way it is. Although bubblegum pink could be pretty cool. I like it just the way it is, Abigail. Of course that's what you'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's what every guy's going to tell you. Wait a minute. And that's only because I have an amethyst here for you. I wanted to give it to you. I seriously love this. You're the best, Punchwood. I know. That's why I said keep it purple. Because I wanted to give you the purple thing. If you change it to bubblegum pink, I don't have any... Slam the door in my face. Bye. I was going to say I don't have any gum. Home again, home again. Jiggity jig. Oh, look at that. We got some uh, some honey, some mayonnaise. But I'm only going to do one thing right now. And that is... And let's go chop down some trees. This will be the last thing I do. Oh, no. Close the door. Oh, uh, the little chickens. I saw you. You guys are both awake. You're just pretending. You're pretending to sleep. I saw the whole thing. I'm going to install cameras in there. Partying all night long, those two chickens is dilly and dally. Anyway, I'm gonna chop wood until I can't see anymore. And I pass out right here in the ground. <laughs> How about this way? There we go. Oh, you're so dumb. Alright, last stump, and then it's off to bed. What do we have for wood here? 68 wood. That will give me enough for a chest. I think it's only 50, right? So, oh yeah, it is. Okay, let's make up a new chest. Hold on, footin' bear. And I think I'm going to move these and put it over here for now. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these things. Oh, gosh. Oh, man, we're full. We are full. Get in there. And one there. That's good. It's 150. Get in the house, quick. Whew, made it. Good night, Wilson. Oh, wait, I got to put the futon down, don't I? Oh. Oh, get in the bed. Oh, I thought after two I could be, if I was in the house, I'd be okay. I felt, I passed out right on the rug. It's all right. It's a comfortable rug. It's an Afghan. Here endeth the seventh of falleth. Here oneeth. Made 400 farming and 152 fishing and no skills. All right. We'll see you guys. Let's do another day. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's squeeze another day into this episode, shall we? I think I can do that as long as I do a little cutting. Anyway, it's Monday the 8th. We got LG Fountain Bear here, who's furniture. Let's put him down. Check him out. He's enormous. He's adorable. Uh, we're going to put you, LG. LG Futton. How about right here? Looks like a good spot. Oh, aren't you adorable? I can't climb on him, though. That's the only thing. I can just look at you. Hey, you're cool. Okay. LG Futton. Welcome to uh, the Punchwood Farm. <laughs> Let's check the weather for tomorrow. Looks like a storm is approaching. Thunder and lightning is expected. Yahoo! That means rain. Thank goodness. Fortune Teller says, spirits are annoyed today, yada, yada, yada. And we have a new episode of Living Off the Land with Farmer Green Beans. 
If you're a farmer in a small town, it's likely you'll be invited to create a Grange display at some point. Typically, a Grange display consists of nine items that best showcase your talents. Shoot for high-quality, high-value items and make sure to have a variety as well. Fish, minerals, artisan goods, fruit, and vegetables are all good to have. Thanks, Farmer Green Beans. You know, I heard about that. So that's what you guys are telling me about, those star bellies that we have stored away. Everybody said, save them, save them for something special. So there we go. That's the Grange. And, oh, we have mail. I love getting mail. Top secret from Pierre. Here's the recipe for my famous blueberry tart. Don't tell anyone. I'm giving it to you because we are such good friends. <laughs> Great. New cooking recipe, blueberry tart. Except that I don't have a kitchen. Pierre. And we have another letter here. It's from, oh, it's from Linus. The old hermit that lives in the tent up in the north. Hello. It's blackberry season right now. The bushes are full of them. I want to pick some, but I lost my basket. Can you help? Uh, I sure can, Linus. He's a good guy. Let's see. Blue, uh, blackberry basket. It's blackberry season, yada, yada, yada. Okay, yeah. And there's no time limit on this, so we have, like, forever. Good. I'll get right on it. Linus? No, I won't. <laughs> All right. So, anyway, let me just get squared away here, guys. I have a lot of stuff from yesterday. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we get those. What are these? All right, cranberries. <laughs> Let's let the chickens is out. 7 a.m. Make them happy. Come on out, Dilly Dally. Oh, there goes Dally. Good morning. And whoa, half a heart. Dally looks really happy today. Oh, Dally, I'm so happy you're happy. Come on down here, Wilson. Say hi to the chickens. Is Dally. What's up with Dilly? There she is. Hey, Dilly. How are you feeling today? Really happy at half a heart. Still one month old. Okay, awesome. Good. Oh, oh, only one egg today. I thought they were happy. All right, fine. Someone. Actually, I know exactly who did lay an egg today. No brown eggs, Dally. You better get on the ball. And, oh, look at this. We have another one here, too. More mayonnaise. All right, yeah. So let's go check these out real quick, and then I'm just going to um, do all my water and stuff. So we got cranberries. Look at them all popping off the bush. And the bush stays. Best kind of bush is the one that keeps on giving. Awesome! Is that it, though? Yeah. Okay, that's it for crops. No no other new crops yet. All right, so look at all those cranberries. These actually are, sell pretty well, apparently. At least that's what I've heard. So I'm going to go ahead and sell the, the silver one. I'm going to keep the gold. And uh, we're going to turn these into preserves, because I think the preserves of these sell really well, too. All right, guys, it's now 12 noon. And I'm just selling some stuff here, at least throwing it in the bin. That I don't think I can sell at Pierre's. So, yeah, that was that tail that we found yesterday. So that goes in there. I want to run over to Gunther's today and drop off these glass shards. We'll sell the mayo and the wild honey. And then we're going to hit the mines. So as you can see here, I got a couple of bums with me. And I'm going to make a new bum, which is four copper ore and some coal. And I'll store that down here and be ready to blow stuff up. All right. See you, Wilson. Have a good day. Let's roll into town here real quick. And then uh, we'll head up to the mines. I think we're just going to spend the rest of the day in the mines. Oh, hey, Louie. I haven't seen you in a while. What's up? Some of the town folks are wary of strangers. You'll have to win their trust before they open up to you. Dude, you told me that like months ago. Okay. Thanks for the tip, old guy. <laughs> Help wanted. It's from Sebastian. I need a common mushroom if it's not too inconvenient. 120 gold on delivery. Sebastian will be thankful. Okay. Shy Sebastian. Yeah, let's find him a common mushroom. I might even have one so I can give him that one. Yeah, nothing to worry about other than Jody's birthday coming up on Thursday. We've got plenty of time. Let's go. Oh my gosh, Leah's here shopping. Everybody's here. Hey, Pierre. I got some more mayonnaise that you love so much that sell really well here, apparently, in the wild honeys. And there we go. Speaking of wild honeys. <laughs> Hi, Leah. I had a huge plate of wild mushroom and eggs for breakfast today. I'm still full. Oh, you look for... I mean, no, you look... It doesn't show at all. Hello, Caroline. Fall is Abby's favorite season, so I'm hoping she'll come out of her room more often. I hope so, too. Get her out. She's got to go get some fresh air, that kid. All right, see you, ladies. I got, I got some stuff to do. Let's go drop this thing off over here at the museum. Oh, look, it's Elliot trying to get smart. Hey, Gunther, I got some more stuff for you today. It's two days in a row, dude. So, there's some kind of glass. Uh, glass shards. I'll put that down here. It's not really... Well, it could be old artifacts. I don't know yet. i got to go read about them. Uh, I really like to go poke and bug Elliot right now, but i got to go. See you, Gunther. Got too much to do. 
Ooh, windy up here. Oh, look at this bush. Huh! It's a blackberry bush! Oh, I've never seen those before. I just wanted to touch it because it looked like it should be touched. And blackberries popped out. Wow! Oh, that's great! Here's another one here, but it hasn't borne fruit yet. Okay, I just thought that they looked different. <laughs> that's the reason. Blackberries! There go my energy problems. <laughs> hey, Sebastian! How you doing? So, it's the big harvest season, isn't it? Yeah, every season's a big harvest season, but yeah, this is, uh, I guess, pretty good. Uh, by the way, I saw your help wanted sign. I'm gonna try to find you that, um, uh, what was it? Common mushroom, right. <laughs> That's how important it was to me. Common mushroom. Hey, lioness. I've explored deep into the caves. Oh, what can you tell me? They hold some hidden secrets. Thanks. Care to expand on that, any? Just be cautious if you go in there. Uh, okay. Thanks for the tip. Here, have some corn. This is a great gift. Thank you! Ooh, we're up to three with Linus. No problem. And by the way, I'm gonna find that basket. I know it's around here somewhere. I'll get it for you if it's the last thing I do! Hi, Demetrius. During this time of year, I divert my attentions to fungi. I'm a fun guy! <laughs> get it, fun guy! <laughs> uh, no, no sense of humor, that guy. Alright, I, I think I could probably find um, that basket up here somewhere because this is where Linus lives, this is where he chills. There's a bone down there. But I don't know if I have time. I really want to go to the mines, get five levels. Good evening, Marlin. How we doing? I got something for you, Marlin. I want to sell you this small magnet ring. I've been carrying it around forever. Thanks. So what are you selling today? Let's take a look. Okay, you got some interesting stuff here, Marlin, but uh, I'm not that interested, so we'll see you later. Hey, Gil, how we doing today, buddy? Come back when you've got something to show me, kid. Okay, sir. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, let's let's go to the mines. I'll look for that basket another time. I really do want to help poor Linus. Look at him down there, looking for it in the in the water. Let's go down to oh, we're down to sixty, right? And look at this pond right here. I'm gonna fish right here in this pond. Okay, there's like one fish down here. Here he is. I got him this time. I got I got a cork bobber here, pal. This make this easy on yourself, okay? Oh, 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 guys. Oh, my cork bobber's not helping much, is it? Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Dang it. Oh, I, gotta, I, I can't talk, I can't talk. I gotta catch this guy. Oh, he's so hard. Ah, it's not moving. How am I supposed to catch you? No, you jerk. Oh, please, come on, cork bobber, do your thing. Somebody spear him. Get a spear gun. Shoot him. I got him. What is it? It's an ice pip. I've never seen it. It's a gold one. A rare fish that thrives in extremely cold conditions. And my gosh, I'm sweating. My heart is racing. I finally got him. Ah, cool. Ice pip. I'm going to eat this green algae in celebration. <laughs> get some of my energy back. It's nasty. But it'll do the trick. All right, well, that was worth the trip down here, even if we don't make five levels, because it's already kind of late, but let's try anyway. I really want to try my new crystal dagger on something other than uh, the statue that Leah gave me. <laughs> let's get our bums ready. Ice Pip, I want you down here, safe safe down at the bottom on my backpack. All right, we ready? Let's go. Down we go. Down, down, down. Oh, Furbies. Remember. Come here, get stabbed. Whoa, what the? Oh, oh, ow. Poison! Look how fast this thing is. It doesn't do much damage, except when it crits. But it knocks him back. That's what that heavy symbol is for. Is knockback. So, let me show you here. See that? You can't, you can't even get to me. That weight. Plus five weight. That knock, it's a knockback. <laughs> this thing's crazy. Except they can't swing. There we go. Oh, right. Man, I had to kill all of them to get down here. Jade. Nice. Some iron. Better grab it. More little Furbies. Alright, I'm just gonna go through here and try to get as much as I can. And uh, if I find anything awesome, I'll be back. Ah. Ah. Get off me! It's 12.30, guys. Dang it. We're on level 64. Just missed. I could not find a ladder. Oh, well. I want to get home before... I pass out. And then uh, Joji Corp will come and pick me up off the ground and charge me like 10% of my gold. Or something like that. Oh no. Oh no. No! 
I didn't make it! Oh, gosh. How much is this gonna cost me? Well, I, at least I made level 7 farming, plus 1 watering can proficiency. I don't know what that means. Plus 1 hoe proficiency, I don't know what that means. Uh, new crafting recipe, a loom. Nice! And a new crafting recipe, quality retaining soil. I'll have to take a look at those tomorrow. Level 5 mining, guys. So now we can choose a profession, a miner or a geologist. So as a miner, I get plus 1 ore per vein. Or a geologist has a chance for gems to appear in pairs. In pairs. Um, boy, let me think about this. I think I'd rather have the ore per vein. Doesn't that include diamonds? I think the diamonds come in in veins so let's go with miner and now let's see how much that cost me I was so close to home too couldn't Wilson just pick me up and carry me in or maybe LG Futton <laughs> oh no let's see all right well that's it for now anyway guys we'll see you in the next episode hope you enjoyed